Hi everybody. So the, now it's kind of like Christmas where we get to open the present. Uh, we don't know what's inside. <laughs> um, and before we do, let's, um, let's kind of look at what we might have learned uh, as some lessons or process uh, developments. So first of all, we can see here that um, this giant piece of uh, cherry that we've used for clamping um, is uh, responded by bending quite a bit. Uh, so we have a huge amount of force on here um, to try and contain the foam. Now, probably um, would have been better if I'd known how much foam to mix up to begin with. I did my best to calculate it, but I uh, woefully underestimated how much foam I was going to need. So I had to, um, as you can see from the last video, I had to uh, mix up more foam a couple more times. And uh, let's hope it was the right amount. It's been curing for a couple of days. And you can see this interesting shape here where the foam was coming out of the little slots that we caused on this side. But then, um, and then a little bit uh, came out over on this end. Well, both ends. And then, but this side didn't have so much. And maybe that's because it seemed like the first pour came down on this side more. Anyhow, let's just hope it worked. Um, of course, we could do it again if it didn't, but it'd be a lot more fun <laughs> if, it, if it was okay. So, um, this is um, something that I used to do a lot of for work holding, really the same job when I was uh, uh, making Parker guitars, I made a, a whole bunch of tools like this to hold that, um, the complex shape of that guitar so that uh, a variety of things could happen to it in production. Um, everything from machining to polishing the finish, we needed some way of holding that funny shaped guitar on a flat bench. And so these nests are very useful for things that are not flat. So well, first we can see from this that uh, this is some pretty substantial foam. Now this was not under any pressure, of course. Um, but if you'll remember, for those of you who haven't seen the earlier episodes on this, um, well, you should go watch them. But this is the stuff that we used that comes in a spray can for insulation. And it just didn't work. Uh, it, was, it was too gooey. And too, and too weak to really be able to hold up as a real tool. So that's why we switched over to this two-part catalyzed foam. And uh, you can see it really has some, you know, some pretty good strength. But we'll see now when we take this apart, hopefully, what it's all about. So. Moment of truth. Okay, well, at least we didn't bond our top to anything. That's always good. Oh, speaking of what we've learned from this, let's come over here and have a quick look at this. I know I'm interrupting myself, which is part of my style. But uh, so when I put the top, when I glued the top on here with a craft paper, um, I used a thin craft paper, and that, that turned out to be a mistake. So the paper was soaked by the glue enough so that it was very, very difficult to get this to part. Um, and I used um, a, you know, a bunch of thin knives to cut through this, but boy, it was tough. And so 
the conclusions here are that the next time I would do this, I would use a thicker uh, paper, maybe a, like a really thick grocery bag um, uh, would be good. And this is stuff you can get at the art supply store or on Amazon or whatever. Uh, so it should be thicker craft paper. And also I would water down the uh, tight bond or whatever glue you're using. I would water that down so that it, it didn't, um, it didn't work quite as well. Okay, so anyway, let's have a look at what we've got. So hopefully this comes off. Oh, all right, so we've got a couple of little creases here. Um, in the vinyl, but that's okay. Of course, they're they're down. But wow, we're feeling this, and it is feeling very substantial. Uh, this is feeling pretty substantial too. But boy, this really feels this feels great. So um, here's this piece, excuse me a second, and I'm going to just mark where this is through these four holes. Help us get it back in the right place. Well, it's really hard to see how it could come out better than this. Now we have this this vinyl surface here, which I think I'm going to leave. It looks like it's bonded around here. There's no reason not to leave this. It's going to be uh, easy to keep this clean. And uh, it'll perf perform really well, I think, uh, as a slight cushion for when our part is sitting in there. And uh, yeah, needless to say, this fits perfectly. So I would call this 100% success. Well, it was a little bit of a mess to put together. Not too bad. <laughs> um, interesting stuff, this expanding foam. Um, so I think that's about it.